My bottle of Kickstart arrived empty. Can you help? Will Kickstart green up my lawn? And how do I get rid of bagworms? Folks, I've got answers to these questions and more coming up on Garden Sense. Hey everybody, I'm Tim Ward and welcome back to Garden Sense. Folks, I hope you had an amazing Independence Day celebration last week and that you really enjoyed a great, great weekend. Now, things were a little slow here in terms of the number of emails we got this past week, but that's okay. We did pull four that we want to review here today for this video podcast. So, buckle up everybody, let's jump right in. The first question is from Richard. Tim. For the past several weeks, it has been raining down tiny acorns. They are all over the lawn and driveway. I never saw this many or so early in the season. Otherwise, the tree appears healthy and I have been watering weekly during the dry spell. Any thoughts? So when an oak tree begins to drop its acorns too early, there are a couple of culprits that are usually the cause of this. One could simply be too much stress on the tree, and that's usually brought about during drought-like situations, which you are experiencing. The other thing could be lack of nutrition. It's simply not getting enough nutrients. The third thing could be a disease. Now, Based on the picture and based on your email and some of the back and forth that we had, it doesn't seem like the tree is unhealthy. Typically, if it's a disease, you'll start to see curling leaves. Again, it's gonna drop some of those leaves, but the only thing you're finding at this point are the acorns. So that simply leads me to believe that it's drought related or nutrition related. What happens with any type of tree is if it's not getting enough water or it's not getting enough of the nutrition that it needs trees will start to drop their fruit in an effort to preserve its own health and so your oak tree could simply be dropping these acorns as a way of trying to keep itself healthy during this dry spell so again based on the pictures that you sent in and again our back and forth i don't think this is anything to, to be too worried about Obviously, when we start looking ahead, you know, next spring, you want to make sure that you are giving it plant trust, which will really, really help keep that tree well fed throughout the season. But again, unless it's dropping leaves, unless you're starting to see some of those acorns uh, are, are deformed, which again could be an indicator of, of some disease, it's probably just the, the heat stress. And so again, I wouldn't worry too much about it at this point. The next question is from Philip. Tim, received my order of Kickstart today. However, the bottles were pretty much empty. Can you kindly ship me two full bottles ASAP? So the reason that I included this question in today's video podcast is because every year we get some customers who send in emails like this because they are new to Kickstart and they've never used it before and they get this bottle, they think it's empty, and they then request that we send one that has been filled. Now, this customer was actually kind enough to send us a picture. So this is actually a picture of what they sent. They took a picture right down into the Kickstart bottle. Now, for those of you who've never used Kickstart before, this is actually what it's going to look like. You see that black powder down there at the bottom. That is actually the Kickstart formula. Folks, if you actually read the front of the Kickstart bottle, it'll actually say one ounce. That's because that big bottle contains only one ounce of this Kickstart formula. It's that little black powder right down there at the bottom of the bottle. What you're supposed to do is then add water and shake it up really well. So when you add water to that fill line, you have now created a Kickstart concentrate. And that's what you're going to use to feed your lawn, feed your trees, feed your shrubs, feed your indoor plants. So, I appreciate this customer sending in this question. Obviously, we're happy to have them as a customer, and we're glad that they're using Kickstart because it is a great product. It's available over at Rosen's Online, and we recommend that everybody uses this for their lawns, their trees, their shrubs, their indoor plants. Any type of plant that you have can benefit from Kickstart. So, folks, if you have never used it before and you get what appears to be an empty bottle of Kickstart, don't worry. It's exactly the way it was designed to ship. Simply take off the cap, add water, put the cap back on, shake it up, and voila, you have the Kickstart Concentrate that you can start using now. 
Question number three is from Rufus. Tim, can Kickstart green up your lawn? How often can I apply? So Kickstart isn't exactly a fertilizer. It's a root stimulator. And what it's going to do is actually strengthen the roots of, in this case, your lawn and allow your grass to take in more nutrition. When a lawn takes in more nutrition, it's actually going to green up and it's going to become much healthier. Now, does that mean you can use Kickstart to green up your lawn? Y yes and no. Look, if you put down Kickstart, it's going to, over time, really, really help your grass. But you know, if you've got a party next weekend and you're looking to green up your grass, putting down Kickstart once probably isn't going to necessarily give you the desired results that you're looking for. What you're gonna want to do though is put down Kickstart in conjunction with another fertilizer like a Turf Trust, which is then going to allow the grass to take in more of the nutrition that Turf Trust puts into the soil. Look, Kickstart does have a little bit of nutritional value to it. So if you were to put it down once a week, over time, yes, it will start to green up your grass. But again, without any uh, further information, you just asked if it's gonna green up your lawn, no. I wouldn't use it just as a, a green up mechanism. You wanna use Kickstart because you want lawn term to have a healthy lawn, and Kickstart is a great way to get to that goal. Now. In terms of how often you can apply it. Look, because I use Turf Trust, Kickstart is not something that I have to apply often. But honestly, I'll put it down about once a month between the spring, summer, and the fall. Your grass is going to benefit from it. Now, we have customers who maybe don't use Turf Trust for the four applications that we recommend. And so they actually supplement it with Kickstart. And they will use Kickstart on their grass up to once a week. That's how frequently they're putting it down. And that's okay, it's an organic product. It will not burn your grass. Your grass will only benefit from it. So you can put it down as frequently as once a week. However, again, if you are using something like a Turf Trust fertilizer on your grass, I would say once a month would be sufficient. The last question for today is from James. Tim, how do I get rid of bagworms on my evergreens? So when it comes to controlling bagworms, one product that I really, really like is BioAdvanced 3-in-1. It works on your trees, your gardens, your flowers, your shrubs. Again, it's a really effective insect killer. And again, it'll not only kill what's there, but it'll help keep them away. Now, when it comes to bagworms, obviously early detection is always key. So head over to rosensonline.com pick up some of the BioAdvanced 3-in-1, and then get it down on your evergreens as quickly as possible. That should take care of the bagworm threat. All right, everybody, just a couple final thoughts before we wrap up this week's video podcast. Folks, we still have the Turf Trust Summer Stock Up going on right now over at rosensonline.com. Folks, we're gonna run it through the month of July, and then we're gonna turn it off on August 1st. So if you have not given your lawn the feeding this summer that it needs, or you're looking to stock up for the fall feedings, head over to rosensonline.com and take advantage of the special price and the free shipping that's associated with the Turf Trust Summer Stock Up. Folks, it is the middle of summer, it is hot. We had two questions today dealing with Kickstart and I would really like to encourage you guys to start using Kickstart during these really hot months. Obviously we wanna put it down on our grass, but it's incredibly beneficial to any type of plant life. So use it on your trees, use it on your shrubs, use it with your indoor plants. Folks, Kickstart is incredibly versatile it's a product that we absolutely love. We sell a ton of it because it's incredibly effective. So head over to rosensonline.com right now. You can pick up the bottles you need. You can even buy it by the case. Folks, if you have questions, you'd like to get on this video podcast, or you just need some help, please send an email to tim at rosensonline.com. All of those emails will come directly to me. Give me a couple of days, and I promise I will get back to you with the answers that you're looking for to whatever problem you're experiencing in your lawn or in your garden. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week. Thank you so much for the time you've spent with us. God bless. Mm -hmm.